Alright, the VSDC video editor up for review. I mean, what can I say? It's a free video editor and it's easy to use. Okay, review over. See you on the next one. So obviously there is still much to discuss, however, this is not a hard one to recommend. So to get that out of the way, yeah, go try it, especially if you're new to video editing or if you're just trying to explore different programs. I think that the design of the VSDC video editor is quite different but refreshing as well. But to get more in depth, the VSDC video editor is a free multimedia suite that brings a set of tools for video editing, either if that's effects, audio, basically like any other video editing program. However, there's also a pro version that unlocks more features when it comes to editing, however I've been testing the free version and it's more than capable of editing good videos in the first place, but if you're interested in checking both versions out, the link will be in the description. So time for pros and cons. Starting off with the pros, this basically includes a simple layout. Now when you first open VSDC for the first time, you have a simple homepage where it greets you with many options, including a brief overview of all the effects it offers. You can also choose to open a project or start a new one and customize all of the properties of your video as well. But as soon as you get to the editing space, it can be quite intimidating at first because of all the effects and windows being thrown in in there. But it is more intuitive than you think. As you can see, we have ourselves the resources window, which will house all of your clips and files for you to edit once you import them. And we can see the preview window as well, and the scene template, which will contain each scene and clip that we implement into the edit. And we can see our timeline where most of the work will take place like always. However, there are also other windows to take notice, such as the effects window, which will allow us to add any filters and manipulate the look of the clips, and the properties windows as well, which will facilitate any changes in the actual video clip, such as the change of speed, duration, and volume properties. You can also explore each tab that is located in the top ribbon of the editing program and explore the projects, scenes, edit, view, editor, and export tab which each holds a specific set of tools that will help you with the process of editing a video. So as you can see, it can be a little much at first, but with practice and a few tutorials here and there, everything will start to make sense and become much easier for you. Which reminds me, if you want me to make an in-depth tutorial for the VSDC video editor, let me know or you can explore the many tutorials that already exist from other people and the VSDC video editor channel themselves. Pro number two, which is performance. Now this editing program is described by many as a light video editor, meaning that it does not take a powerful system to run it. As a matter of fact, it has the lowest system requirements possible. However, do take that into account as each individual has their own experience with this program and all are unique. But it is good to know that this program is accessible in an easy to use format, not to mention that there is more than enough features to add while you're editing, which comes to par with the other video editing programs that are out there. So that is a plus as well. To mention a few more pros out there, this software obviously is free to use, but it also does not have a watermark, which makes a huge difference when finding a good reliable editing program. Now on to the cons, which frankly just includes the first impression of the program and ecosystem. Now like I said before, the interface can be quite intimidating at first, especially for those who are starting with video editing, but remember you have to give it some time to get used to it. One tip that I can give you is to learn the shortcuts when editing. During my testing period, there were many settings and buttons that just repeated themselves to do one action in different ways, such as adding a video filter. So just find the easiest one for you and add it to your workflow. One example would be when I am implemented a video or audio effect, instead of going to the editor tab in the top ribbon, I just simply select the clip that I'm editing on and right click and the whole menu would appear and I could add my effect from there. Very simple tips to keep your workflow nice and smooth. But other than that, there are no other serious cons with this program as aside from your personal preference when choosing an editing tool. However, there are a few nitpicks here and there, such as the addition of a pro version. I mean, I get why they did it, as making a profit is important, but the value difference is not that significant between the pro and free version as they offer the necessary and basic needs. Another thing would be the overall design of the website and branding. When I first reached the VSDC website, I didn't think that this was the official site, but aside from the looks, the information that I had along with the layout was actually quite helpful. So besides that, this was my comprehensive review of the VSDC video editor. It is free and easy to use and certainly on par with the range of quality of other video editing programs out there. So it's your call. But other than that, if this video helped you, a little like and subscribe wouldn't hurt. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.